Hi all, uh, welcome to part 19 of uh, practice your ROR cards with me. In the, these videos, I just take a random nine different cards every time and I take you guys through it on how you would identify the cards if they are shown to you during an orals examination. And the links to the previous 18 parts are in the description section below. So you should watch them as well and practice all these cards uh, either with me or on your own. So let's get started. So the first card that you see here, um, try not to cheat when you see the card. So see the card on your left side and try not to read what is there on your right side. But why I put them together is so that you can relate to my explanation here. So this card here is actually a power driven vessel which is less than 50 meters. If it was more than 50 meters, you would have seen two masthead lights. Uh, it is underway because uh, you can see both the side lights and it is end on because again, you can see both the side lights. You can see the starboard side light as well as the port side light. If you see this vessel, that means you're on a head on collision course with it or it's almost on a reciprocal course with you. So just sound one shot blast and auto course to starboard. Uh, this vessel will have no day signal and the fog signal for this way when making way is one prolonged blast and when it is stopped uh, two prolonged blast with two seconds interval in between. Uh, the second card here is actually a power driven vessel towing uh, because you see it is restricted in her ability to maneuver and you can see the rest, red white red lights that indicates that condition. Uh, it is underway because you can see the side light of this vessel and uh, it is less than 50 meters otherwise you would have seen uh, three white lights in a vertical line and the tow is 200 meters or less otherwise you would have seen another masthead light uh, separate from those uh, two masthead lights in a vertical line. Uh, if you see this vessel because you see the port aspect of it you will sound one shot blast alter goes to starboard past turn of it uh, this vessel will display a bold diamond ball in a vertical line because it is restricted in her ability to maneuver. Uh, the fog signal of this vessel will be one prolonged blast followed by two shot blast. Uh, the third card here is a fishing vessel. So whenever you see a red over white, it's a fishing vessel other than a trawler. If you see a white over red, then it is a pilot vessel. But whenever you see red over white, it is a fishing vessel. Uh, it is uh, other than a trawler. It is making way as you can see the green side light and the gear is extending 150 meters or less and you know that because if the gear was extending more than 150 meters you would have seen an additional white light in the direction of the extension of the gear. As you see it's green light you know that you are seeing this uh, vessel on the starboard side of the vessel. When you see this vessel sound two shot blast alter goes to port uh, as it may be crossing you. Uh, the starboard aspect is clear and uh, as a power driven vessel you have to keep clear of the fishing vessel so you alter course to port and you can pass from the stern of this vessel and this vessel because it is fishing it will show two cones with apexes together in a vertical line and uh, the fox signal of this vessel will be one prolonged blast followed by two short blast and this vessel here is a power driven vessel which is towing it is 50 meters or more because you see three white masthead lights in a vertical line if it was less than 50 meters you would have seen two vast, two white masthead lights in a vertical line the tow also exceeds 200 meters because you can see there is an additional masthead light which is separate from the three lights uh, which are vertically displayed uh, when you see this vessel it's of course it's underway because you see the port side light the port side aspect of this vessel is uh, shown to you when you see this vessel sound one shot blast auto goes to starboard and pass the stern of this vessel uh, this vessel will show a one diamond shape, a diamond shape to indicate that the tow is uh, exceeds 200 meters and uh, the fog symbol for this vessel will be one prolonged followed by two short blast. The fifth card is uh, again whenever I told you whenever you see red over white you should understand this is a fishing vessel other than a trawler. A trawler of course has green over white but a fishing vessel has red over white. And it is making way because you can see the side light. In this case, you see the port side light. The gear is extending 150 meters or less. Because like I told you, if the gear was extending more than 150 meters, then there would have been an additional white light in the direction of the extension of the gear. You see the port side light. So you are basically seeing the vessel's port side. When you see this vessel, sound one shot blast, 
auto goes to starboard past the stern of this vessel. This vessel will show two cones with apexes together in a vertical line during the day to indicate that it is fishing. And the fog signal for this vessel is one prolonged followed by two short blasts. What you see here is a dredger vessel which is a restricted in her ability to maneuver. Uh, the restricted inner ability to maneuver is indicated by the red white red inner vertical line uh, it has an obstruction on the starboard side because you see that the two red lights are on the starboard side and uh, it is make uh, the safe side is of course the port side because the two green lights are on the port side now how do i know which is port and starboard because uh, you can see the white light at the bottom that indicates that this is the stern of the vessel so if this is the stern of the vessel and you are seeing the stern naturally the right hand side will be the starboard of the vessel and the left hand side will be the port side of the vessel and that's why your obstruction is on the starboard side uh, when you see this vessel sound two shot blast alter goes to port why you would do that because the port side is the safer side the obstruction is lying on the starboard side of the vessel and you would rather pass from the port side of the vessel and this vessel will show ball dam and ball in a vertical line to indicate it's restricted in her ability to maneuver it will also show two diamonds in vertical line on the safe side that is the port side here and two balls in a vertical line to show the obstruction side which is the starboard side in this case the fog signal will be again one prolonged followed by two short blast and this is a power driven vessel which is uh, pushing ahead probably 50 meters or more underway seen from the starboard side now uh, why this is 50 meters or more is because what you see is uh, three uh, masthead lights and uh, it is seen from the starboard side because you can see there are two green lights that means the vessel is pushing ahead and the green lights are of the vessel towing and the vessel being towed or rather the vessel pushing and the vessel being pushed and uh, three masthead lights will indicate 50 meters or more if there was another masthead light you would have known this is a towing vessel which is where the tow exceeds 200 meters in this case uh, because uh, it is not restricted in her ability to maneuver and you are seeing the starboard side this vessel becomes the uh, give a vessel you are the standalone vessel so you will maintain the course and speed and uh, this vessel will indicate no day signal and the fog signal for this vessel will be one prolonged blast followed by two short blast again you see a red over white light you know this is a fishing vessel other than a trawler uh, it's making way because you can see the stern light at the right bottom you can see the white light is the stern light the other white light which is displayed away from the red over white is uh, indicating that the here the green the the gear is extending more than 150 meters like i've mentioned before if the gear extends more than 150 meters it shows a white light in the direction of the gear uh, if you see this vessel sound the two shot blast alter goes to port uh, here the two cones are with their apexes together in a vertical light to indicate that it is a fishing vessel and it will also display a cone with apex upwards in the direction of the gear uh, the fog signal for this vessel will be one prolonged followed by two short blast the last card for today shows that this is a power driven vessel which is towing it's underway because you see the stern light the white light at the bottom is a stern light how do you know it's towing is because you can see the towing light the yellow towing light just above the stern light uh, it's restricted in our ability to maneuver because uh, the red white red are indicated uh, in a vertical line displayed together that indicates that she's restricted in her ability to maneuver when you see this vessel sound one shot blast alter goes to starboard stay clear of it this vessel will show a ball diamond ball shape in the daytime in a vertical line uh, and if the toe was extending more than 200 meters it would also show a diamond in this case you can't see uh, the white light that indicates the toe is exceeding 200 meters because you are approaching this vessel from its stern and this vessel will also sound one prolonged blast followed by two short blasts uh, as a fog signal